Okay. Okay, are we ready? What do we what do we do? What do we do to get started? Jackson, how do we start every single service? I'm holding a cross, okay? So is anybody ready for a cross parade? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go, go over there and get your cross, Jackson, and everybody else, and let's start. everybody so uh, one of the things that's really important about all God's children and you is that you will never hear somebody go what? especially if we're out here with microphones and everything but you have noisemakers you can talk you can play you can do whatever we have a couple different things that we're gonna do today um, that will be fun I think and we will start with um, a little music this is the Johnny Appleseed prayer. Yay! This is the Johnny Appleseed prayer. <laughs> oh, the Lord is good to me. And so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need in the sun and rain. So the first thing we have a new Bible story for today. Oh my goodness! Jackie's going to yeah. teach us. Yeah, sure. Do you want to come yeah, come up here. Yeah. Hey, Jackie. Hey. 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 A little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You know, following up after uh, you could do it, Jackie. Paul and Chris did it. Yeah. 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 There you go. Okay. All right. Does everybody hear me? Yeah. You know, I teach every day, but this is much different for me so, so bear with me so today we're going to talk about how much jesus loved children jesus was teaching his disciples when a group of parents arrived with their children i want everyone to think about who brought you today jackson who brought you today uh, who, well, who brought you here to church today Right? Your grandma brought you. And Stevie, who brought you to church today? Me and Mom. Oh, I did. 
and little guy back there, who brought you church to church today? I know, so many people, right? So it could be your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, an aunt and uncle, or maybe a friend brought you to church. So the disciples tried to turn them away. But instead, Jesus took the children and gave them hugs, and he blessed them. He did this because he loves children. And every one of you is very special to Jesus. Jesus also taught us how to love others. He showed us, all, showed us by all the things he did. I show my love to everyone by helping and teaching people every day. What do you guys do to sh show people you love them? Jackson, what do you do to show people you love them? Helping you help them, that's really good, Jackson. How about Stephen, what do you do? I help people in class. You help people in class, that's so nice. And I bet you help everybody and you love everyone and give everyone kisses and you show them love by <laughs> laughing and giggling. I love that smile back there. So I want everyone to repeat after me. Love one another as Jesus loves you. Love one another as Jesus loves you. Try to show kindness in all that you do. Try to show kindness in all that you do. Be gentle and loving in deed and in thought. Be gentle and loving in deed and in thought. For these are the things that Jesus taught. For these are the things that Jesus taught. Amen. She will be invited back again. <laughs> <laughs> that where is it? There's a song there. That's right. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, that was very good. So thank you very much. It's not the easiest thing to come up and start doing Bible stories if you haven't done them before. So thank you. That was great. Thank uh, you. And now it's time for um, the prayer rope. So if you have a prayer rope, take one. And in the old days, we used to have a long prayer rope, remember? And we all used to hold it together. But now we'll do it in pods, families. <laughs> and when we hold the prayer rope together, what are... What what was some good things that happened this past week that you'd like to share? We had a reunion with all our four grandchildren that are up in Maine. Wow! And it was joyous and noisy. The little ones, big ones, all sizes and shapes, and they were all wonderful. That's great. That's Amen. great. That's a lot of fun. Who else had a? I had a wonderful opportunity to celebrate a friend who is retiring and saw lots of the people I used to work with who are having amazing adventures as retired people. Okay, that's great. Work hard to retire. And I get to join them in seven years. In seven years, okay. And we'll start the countdown tomorrow. Okay, who else? We had a beautiful service yesterday. Kathy, go ahead. We had a reunion yesterday. We did. And sometimes when a dear person passes away, it becomes a celebration of that person's life. And her name was Marty. And some of you know, if I go like this in church, I'm playing a musical instrument. And Marty's a person who dreamed about bringing handbells to St. Andrews. And yesterday we had so much beautiful handbell music and she brought it all to life for us yesterday. It was a wonderful reunion. It was. Everybody working together. And Hewitt, you had a nice thought about Marty yesterday when you were doing the bells. Yeah, uh, uh, Marty's spirit helped me ring the bells yesterday because I wasn't doing well in rehearsal. But when it came to 
time to do it. Came right out there. So. Uh, yeah, she was she was there. You know, her son Mark. It was his seventy first birthday yesterday, actually. Oh. And while he knew that his mother was that bells were important, he didn't quite understand how important. And so he he loved the service. He loved the tolling of the bells at the end. Oh, yeah, totally and then good. Kathy and I took him up to the choir loft and showed him the bells, and the the dedications for all of the bells, and lots of family members of his and, and so on. So. He was very happy to have that opportunity to see that. And I think it's really important to talk about traditions because there are so many traditions with some of the elderly people we have in church and some of the new people we have in church that traditions are alive and well in St. Andrews and it's something to rejoice, it's something to recall, and you know, it's, it's just the foundation for us to grow and be connected. Mm -hmm. And this has become a tradition, right? So not too long ago, we hadn't even thought of an all God's children's service, and and now we have almost twenty people here. This is very nice, and we have a brand new teacher and Bible stories. <laughs> so let's sign her up. <laughs> and anybody else who wants to try that, it's it's. Uh, I remember when I did the first one myself. You do, you do sweat. You do a lot of a lot of prep for it, but it's really nice when it's, when you do it. So thank you. Any other signs of God's grace or things that was really nice this week? I think we have enough rain for a while. <laughs> and we certainly have had the crops fed from the East Coast. <laughs> Compared to the West, we're in heaven. We are. This is heaven. This is Camelot, right here. So let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. So we can wave and peace. Peace and pause. Peace and pause. Hey, Jackson, peace. Here we go. Frankie, peace. Peace. Yes. There you go. He's waving peace. Yes. Okay, are there any uh, announcements? Any birthdays? Okay. So, for those of you who do go on the website to look at the 1015 service, well, I guess we can hang that up. Um, we are trying to stream to multiple locations. So, it's going to always be Facebook, but we're trying to add YouTube. Um, there is a link for YouTube there. It's probably been there today. If any of you are going home, Mostly to her because I was going to tell you to call her. <laughs> so we used to, at this point, always have Holy Eucharist and we had a priest who would bless and consecrate the elements. Um, but we can't do that right now. But we can still talk about why, what's the real purpose of communion to begin with. And Jackie did a great job in talking about Jesus' love. And if there's one message I think that comes from uh, the Bible and Jesus' love life is what did he what did he say? He said, Love your neighbor like yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's really that's really important for us to remember. And I think a, a big part of the Eucharist 
is helping us remember that teaching of Jesus. Jesus helped everybody. And he told stories about people who helped everybody. And that's the most important part. And so he said when it was time to leave that I want a way for us to figure out how will you remember me, and more importantly than just me, but what I meant about love. And so he said, let's share a meal together. And he gathered his friends together with a meal. So this is not consecrated bread. It's just bread that I brought from home. But if you have bread or juice or anything, this would be a good time to take it out. Everybody have some? I have extra if anyone wants. Oh, Does anybody need extra juice? Anybody need what? Bread? Yeah. 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 Um, and so at this point, why don't you just open up your bread, your bags, and just take a little piece off and just share it with somebody in your family or a friend that you're next to or stuff it in, stuff it in his mouth. That's fine too. <laughs> and remember when you do this, what we're trying to remember is Jesus. We're trying to remember that Jesus is all about love and that Jesus really loved us. And that's that's the tradition that we're that we follow. That's what's important for us. And the bread is a symbol of Jesus and everything that Jesus was to us. If you have juice or water or tea or coffee, you can go for that too, because that was another symbol at the Last Supper. He, he, they shared a glass of wine or juice, water. And he said, "When you, every time you drink this, remember me. Remember that this is all about love, all about caring for others. So thank you. Thank you for doing that. It's been um, a long time since we've been able to share like this with our All God's Children family. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Um, oh, music. No, 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 we need to do this one for a little bit. Oh, I Look. forgot. One more. Before that. Yeah, that. Okay, a little more music and you can make some noise. You can sing because after, after the party that Jesus had with his disciples, they celebrated. So... everyone for coming today and I want to share my favorite blessing with you again may the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace amen, amen. amen. okay so what do we do at the end of the all God's children Lindsay, you know that. What do we do at the end of the All God's Children? Cross parade. And who has to yell something out? You do. You do. Who's ready for their cross parade? Yes. Oh, 
But I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us.